Hello everyone, this is Unreal Noob and welcome to Unreal Engine 4 Beginners Tutorial. We are making a dungeon crawler game and in the last tutorial we made the interaction system where you would uh, see the name of the sword that was in front of you. But <coughs> the problem is when we have like two or more swords, it doesn't show up the perfect one or the one we are looking at. It just shows randomly whatever the last one was in the array to be added so let's make that a bit better so for that we would have to open up our dungeon crawler folder and in the interactables open up our bp base interactable Once BP Interactables is open in the on component begin overlap, we would like to add some code after this. So, also before that, we need to open up our player controller and make a variable. We'll call it paste interact, uh, not paste interactable, sorry, interactables in range and this one would be of type bp interactable bp base interactable object reference and this one will be an array compile save go back to base interactables and on the on component if on component begin overlap at the end we would from the player controller reference we would call in we'll get the Mm. <coughs> interactables in range and we'll add it to add it to an array and this reference would be self and down below on the on component end overlap from the PC ref we call in the interactable get interactables in range and we just simply remove the index uh, not the index sorry remove the item and plug in the self again and and this setup in bp in base interactables is done we can close this up and move to our bp player controller over here we will require the event tick if it's not there for you you can just call in event tick and it would pop out and it would pop up so in event tick uh, also a thing about event tick event tick runs always okay so whenever our game starts our event tick runs so it will run always uh, the only choice you have like to not run it to have a branch check a conditional check that way it won't always run or another would be in the class defaults if you type in uh, if you Go under actor tick and if you unplug start with tick enabled to be false then it won't tick as you can see right now and this also disables our movement as well because <coughs> because this movement logic is also dependent on tick so if i do a print string over here saying call it forward as you can see nothing's happening but if i just enable the tick over here you can see forward for hello and forward being printed because <coughs> input access events are always called on tick so remember that so we don't want uh, what we'll be doing is a ray trace to check what we are looking at but we don't want it to be enabled all the time because it would consume a lot of resource so the best thing would be to get the interactables in range and get the length of it if this length is greater than zero if it is greater than zero only then print hello 
let's see just for right now we'll do a line trace from here but for now let's say we just print hello so right now as you can see it does not print anything but once we go in it prints hello so and when we come out of it it stops printing okay so this way it is much more optimized so after this we would do a not a line test uh, we would do a sphere trace for objects the start would be get actor eyes two point so that would be the start and the end would be to get the character reference get the camera and get the world location actually we don't need the world location sorry we need the forward vector we'll multiply it with a float and it would be let's say a thousand for now so we are adding thousand meter in front from the eyes of the player okay so the starting would be the eyes of the player and the ending would be thousand meters in front that's why we just put in over there radius can be five we will draw a debug for duration and object type would be make a ring uh, also check what kind of hmm, collision preset these have especially this box hmm, check collision collision presets it's a world dynamic so check for world dynamic okay compile save actors to ignore make early and it would be yourself character reference and we check if the hit was true and we break the out hit result and see if this hit actor was equal to a current interactable or not if uh sorry okay so what we would want to do instead is check all the interactables that we have in the array so we'll do a for each loop so that the loop goes through each of the elements in the array and if it is one of them or all of them we check for all of them and the first one that we hit should show up as our current interactable so we have to change our current interactable type to be of actor class make sure it's an object reference like that and the hit actor set it over there now let's see okay so now if you are playing and you get an error don't freak out the fix is coming up in three seconds also guys a small fix you might get an error when you try to play this game so this is because we changed the current interactable to actor class so just open this one up and click on the get and what you would want to do is from this call in our interactable ref and from this plug into the target like that and now compile and play the game and it should be fixed for you okay guys now let's get back to the video 
now if we look at the short sword we will see the short sword or if we are looking at the hero sword the hero sword pops up and so forth so as you can see this is way much better than what we had set up initially we can play with the radius value maybe 10 to be much better so short sword hero sword like this come here now let us go back and change the draw debug type to be none so that the rays do not show up right now for the actual game short sword sorry yeah so short sword hero short hero so it's good it's good enough right now i would say mm. also make sure that the boxes are not so big like this like that and like this oops sorry the box set the snapping to be false that should be enough mm. Scale this one as well. Just like that. Let's make a few more. Let's call it the X. And sorry, this one was a duplicate. We don't want to a duplicate. We want to create a child blueprint. Call it X. And let's make another child blueprint. Call it. Yeah, we can't have space remember that so open up the x uh, in the skeletal mesh let's put up x so uh, normal x Just like that, just like that, good enough. And the two side X, still to mesh X. This one for the box. Also, for those who do not know what the shortcuts are, you can check it over here. It's the W, E, and R. So, W, E, and R. You can change it. Okay. Oops. Just like that. So, I'll just put them side by side. To show you that it's not a huge problem even if, if they are like side by side right oh, we did not assign names to this so make sure in the defaults you have the name as X for this one mm, what is this called anthracite Site X. So let's go. Here, so the X. Okay, this one is not in range. Okay, now it is. Okay, this one isn't in range anymore uh actually it's 
uh, I think yeah probably it's not in range uh, let's see for duration so so okay that one isn't in range so yeah zero so and the X and this one isn't in range yet yeah now we come in we are in range we are not in range for this one now we are Uh, actually we can't see it because this is big uh, let's see mm. let's print this let's print string this whatever things are in range so the sword short sword is in range only these two are in range now even the X is in range X short sword X hero sword X so this three like now the two side X the hero sword and the short sword is in range the X is not now oh no the X is not now the X is now the sword and the hero swords are only the sword sword the two sided axe and the short sword now even the normal hero sword if I can look into it I'm going to be in front of it to check for it so this is good enough for us like this uh, interaction is way better than the one we had so and in the not in the next episode we will be looking at how to attach one of these in our hand so thank you guys for watching this video and if you enjoyed it if you learn something from it please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and share it